shaky that like you can't even hear the sound when I'm driving so we're back to being on my dashboard um, but let's see what's going on so here's the deal I just left bars house uh, going back to my house well going back towards my town I got a few things to do Bar's cousin Tyler just got back in town from college, uh, so they're partying it up or whatever. He's got their friends over there, so I'm like, I'm fucking out of here. Y'all can do y'all thing, have fun, you know, whatever. Sorry, y'all. That was my um, school counselor calling me, reminding me that I have orientation tomorrow to not be late. If it's on the dot, because they're going to start on time, and if you're late, I guess you got to reschedule, so I'll be there on time. Um, let's see, what was I talking about? Oh, I gotta run a couple errands. Um, my mother, obviously, I talked about this in my last vlog, wants a $199 pan. So, we're gonna go to Marshall's, we being Holly and I, because she's in the, she's in her car seat. Um, we're gonna go to Marshall's and see if we can get the, um, get the damn pot, okay? I love my mom, I'll do anything for her, so... I'm gonna get the pot, um, and I'm gonna see what else I can find for her. I know that she really wanted the pot, and I was supposed to go yesterday, but I didn't, and I really need to go today because it's at Marshall's, and who knows, anybody can pick it up. I really was being mean to her and crushing her spirit about the pot, telling her that there's no way I'm gonna buy her that pot, and she's lost her damn bananas, but my mom deserves a $200 pot, so if that's what she wants, that's what I'm gonna go get her. Oh, guys, um, so obviously it's Vlogmas Day 6, but I am already thinking about my birthday, which is in Jan um, January, March. Thank you. Thank you. Um, which is in March. Uh, Bar's birthday is March 1st, my birthday is March 28th, so we're 27 days apart. And we're thinking about having a joint birthday party. I really, 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 really want to have a 90s throwback, and Bar really likes that idea too. So we're just thinking about where we can have it, like the decor, like the DJ, all of that really, really good stuff. Um, I've been wanting to have a birthday party for a while. For those of you that don't know, which is a lot of you, um, I had a sweet 18th birthday party, and like, it was bomb. Like, my dad really let me go. My dad and my grandparents really let me go all out for the birthday party. Like, I had a dance floor, I had a jumper, I had like VIP, I had, I had like a lot, a lot of stuff. Um, I was only expecting 200 guests, because it was in my grandparents' backyard, and they have a pretty, like, nice backyard that they got all redone, so. They allowed me to have it back there. So I was only expecting like 200 people, but 500 people showed up. 500 people showed up. Um, and the police shut it down because they were saying it's like a fire thing. And um, I don't know if you know, but like El Cerrito is a city that's like in the hills. You have to like go up. Any way that you get up, you have to go up. Well, Kensington is in the hills. So any way that you get in, you have to go up. Um, and so like the police were saying like they were like groups of kids walking up the hills and they were stopping people at the bottom of the hill and like they were trying to get shuttles people get, to get down the hill like parents have volunteered to drive the kids down the hill because they're like your party can't go on well our joint 22nd birthday party um, real 90s vibe I already know that much so 90s attire required throwback attire required like don't be that person um, I'm having a hard time finding decorations though. I'm gonna go on Pinterest for some inspiration, but Pinterest, when I do look at Pinterest, because I'm a crazy Pinterest lady, um, they didn't really have too much that I was like, oh yeah, because if you don't know, Holly's first birthday party was a complete Pinterest party. Like, every single idea that I got for Holly's under the sea birthday bash. I got from Pinterest and my mom, as creative as she is, was just able to like make the vision come to life with her creative hands. Um, being that she put a lot of the stuff together and made a lot of the stuff and took, she really took like the lead on the party and like the decor and everything really because parties are her thing. So I'm gonna ask a little bit of advice about my party, um, our party. Holly. 
Hi. Hi. I think this is the park. Lake Kusaka. I think that's what she was talking about. I think we found the pot. she wants um don't touch that these things are very breakable oh here's another pot for me 30 bucks for this pot <sighs> mom let me tell you something let me tell you something if i buy you this goddamn pot you better cook for me for the rest of your days Give kiss kiss. Oh oh. Here. Oh, how sweet. How sweet. How sweet. Wow. Look at the teddies. Okay, let's just have a little girl chat. Let's just have a little girl chat. Um so, you guys know that I lost a lot of weight. I was really heavy during my pregnancy. I feel like I said that plenty of times. My heaviest during my pregnancy was 190 pounds. I am now 126 pounds. Um, my goal weight was 130, but I just lost a lot of weight very quickly. Um, I feel like I was rushing myself and rushing myself. And then as soon as I started eating right and exercising the slightest bit, my body just kicked into gear. Because before I had Holly, I was 115, that 115, 120, that was my heaviest. Um, so now that I'm back to my regular weight, there's a couple things that I want to do. One of them is to tone up. Um, I want to tone my arms, tone my legs, tone my butt, everything like that. Um, but that's not the juicy stuff that I know y'all want to know about. I know y'all want to know about my plastic surgery. Um, so let's just clear this up right quick. I do not have veneers, okay? Like, let's zoom. Ooh, that's too close. These are like, these are real teeth. Like, I did not get my teeth done. I've never gotten my teeth done. Um, I had braces. As a matter of fact, I still have a retainer that's glued in um, at the bottom. So I never had veneers. I don't want veneers. Um, I'm pretty happy with my teeth. What do I do for my teeth? I just brush my teeth. That's it. I don't drink coffee or anything like that harsh that would stain them because I know they say that coffee like really stains your teeth. I don't drink coffee so I don't really know but I just brush my teeth with regular like 3D Crest whitening toothpaste. Um, I try not to use any like whitening stuff or whatever. I've tried a few whitening things but then I've read that on the flip side they really fuck up your enamel and my teeth are already quite sensitive so I just I tried those Crest whitening strips and my teeth are like super sensitive for like three days after that so I've tried a few things since then but I just don't think that that stuff is for me it's very like harmful to your teeth so knowing what I don't know I would not recommend doing anything like that as far as the weight loss journey I'm pretty happy with the weight I don't want to lose any more weight absolutely not actually I lost quite a few pounds too many um so the next step for me, I really feel like, is getting my boobs done. I really want my boobs done. Like, if you have a kid and you didn't, your, your boobs didn't bounce back, then you know what I'm talking about. Like, 
I want perky pretty boobs and I had a baby and I don't have perky pretty boobs anymore and I'm very sad about it wouldn't change it for the world but now I do want my boobs done um, a lot of people ask what doctor I'm gonna go to it's not gonna be Dr. Miami that's no shade that's no tea um, I just don't want to go to Dr. Miami to be quite honest I don't feel comfortable with having my surgery all over snapchat I don't feel comfortable with having my surgery all over YouTube I don't feel comfortable with any of that like I what I show if I do get my boobs done I will be showing you guys my journey but like do you get what I'm saying I don't want to be on the operating table with him blasting Drake in the background like sucking out on my fat or you know implanting my boobs or whatever he's doing to me like I don't want that on the internet so um I don't want to go to Dr. Miami um I have a doctor out here where I live that I really like and I really want to go to. I will reveal my doctor when I'm ready to do so. I can be like, I'll reveal your doctor when you're ready, but it's like, listen, I don't, to be honest, think about putting things out there is that I know that everyone's going to have an opinion and I know people will be like, you're going to get your boobs done, you don't even need that, whatever, whatever, but it's like, I'm not doing it for anybody but myself. Um, so, you know, when I'm ready to share all the details of my surgery and all that, that I will. Um, but the doctor that I'm going to is board certified. He's actually been voted number one um, plastic surgeon. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, and I have an appointment to see him on the 11th of December. It's the 6th, so count the days. And I will take you guys to my appointment with me and then we can talk all about the boob job experience and the boob job journey, all of that fun stuff. I don't plan to get my surgery until February or March, so I have a few months to prepare. And I've been like OD watching boob vlogs. I've been OD watching everything. For some reason, I've been like really into Brazilian butt lift vlogs which is kind of weird because I don't want a Brazilian butt lift, but um, these doctors is bringing these bitches back, okay, SpongeBob boobs. Like, these girls is crazy. It's the best form of catfishing, and I am for it. So I've been watching everybody's BBL vlogs, and y'all booties look great, sis. All y'all booties look good. Let me know if you guys would like to come on the boob journey with me and really see what it's like to get a boob job and the healing. I mean, I know there's lots and lots of videos, but one more can't hurt. So if you guys want a boob vlog, comment down below, and I will take you guys on the whole entire journey with me. I'm so excited. If plastic surgery isn't for you, you know what I'm saying, then it's just not for you, but it's for me. You know, if plastic surgery isn't your thing, then that's fine. But I feel like if there's something about you that you want to fix, get a little nippy tuck. There ain't nothing wrong with a little nippy tuck tuck, okay, honey? So if you don't like plastic surgery, then this is not going to be the series of vlogs for you to watch. Just keep watching the regular old videos because I don't want you to be offended by my choice, my personal choice to get boobs. I know I'm just like saying random things but because I'm not really doing much today. I've been doing a lot for the past couple days and I'm fucking burnt out. Like, I don't know if I said this earlier but I have a funeral to go to tomorrow and I just know it's going to be a really emotional day for me. I never lost somebody that I was close to so this is like the first real death that like has ever like really resonated with me so I'm just trying to keep myself in good spirits because this is like serious and I have a kid and I don't want that energy to rub up on her I don't want her to start feeling like sad or like any of the feelings I'm feeling so trying to keep it all together and trying to keep a good vibe but um today was a day in the house for me basically I left Bart's house this morning did a little errands and now I'm home my mom made some sweet potato pie so I'm about to probably eat like 10 pieces I want to catch up on black ink crew because I've been seeing clips all over Instagram and I don't really know what's going on so with that being said I think I'm gonna wrap up vlogmas day six um vlogmas day seven which is tomorrow will be a hectic day for me as i just said so i don't really know how much vlogging i'm gonna be doing tomorrow i'm gonna try to take you guys with me as much as i can but you know just if vlogmas day seven isn't there just understand anyways yeah so if vlogmas day seven isn't there you already know what's up you already know why it's not there um and i will see you vlogmas day eight